my brothers were uh, in the Marine Corps at the time, and uh, it was uh, suggested to me by my father that I couldn't do what my brothers did, so I wanted to do it, but mainly because I wanted to serve my country. I served in the United States Air Force in the early 1980s. I worked in uh, personal affairs, which was in the Central Base Personnel Office. I was working field service logistics in California, Southern California, and uh, times were good, and the economy was good, and everything was going good. And then when uh, I uh, got my disability with my leg, uh, the world started falling out uh, from underneath me. Uh, I lost my job, I didn't know where to turn, and it's a good thing that Veterans Inc. was here to help me. I walked through the door, I was uh, pretty nervous about going in, but uh, they treated me as an individual and uh, it had a military atmosphere to it and uh, everybody treated me with respect. Some misfortune with the economy and the loss of my profession left me in a position where I, I couldn't feed myself, or my family, I had no place to live and they provided that for me, the basics at first. I stopped in and, and asked uh, what services they could provide for me, and it wasn't just the shelter. It was much more than I expected. Veterans Inc., it gave me a place to stay. It fed me the very best food, gave me classes, uh, financial counseling, taught me how to uh, live life the way that it's supposed to be, uh, going to AA meetings, alcoholic anonymous meetings, certain things that I needed. There's a number of recovery programs for alcoholics and addicts, 12-step programs, uh, PTSD recovery programs, all of which I utilized since I've been here. If it wasn't for Veterans Inc., I don't know what I'd do. Uh, they gave me a fresh start to start rebuilding my life, and uh, they encouraged me to apply for housing and uh, help me out quite a bit with uh, needed necessities. and. Uh, financial restraints. I've participated in the, the computer trainings, word processing, and, and starting to cross-train into some areas that might help me land the job. When I first got out of the service, they were, uh, there was no parades, there was, there was nothing like that. People were spitting on you and calling you names and everything, and uh, times have changed where now they, they realize the sacrifice. We're conditioned to do a job, uh, we perform that job. Men lose their lives, women lose their lives. I think it makes it hard for the guys to transition to come back home. If someone didn't know where to turn, I would tell them to go see Veterans Inc. because they're very helpful as far as uh, trying to get your life back on track, giving you a place to stay and uh, encouraging you to better your life. They were there when we needed them. We must be there now that they need us. I'm Vincent Peroni, President and CEO of Veterans Inc., Lieutenant Colonel, United States Air Force, retired. Please consider donating to us by logging on to our website at www.veteransinc.org. Thank you very much.